Well, hello, friends. Are you on a snow day? We are here in North Carolina. We are on a actually flood and high winds day. We did not have school today. So I imagine that a lot of our friends are also on a snow day as well. You'll have to let us know in the Q&A if you are on a snow day today. And how perfect because today we are making a winter scene. So, so fun. So as Chanel said, my name is Elizabeth Barrick. I am a teacher. I live in North Carolina. And I'm super excited to teach this class with you today. I've got to tell you that because we are getting a lot of rain and a lot of high winds here, just in case our power goes out, uh, Michaels and I will work together on creating a video on demand so that you can finish your project. So just so you know, if that's if that happens to happen today, which it very likely could, we will upload that video for you. So far, so good. So let's get started. I'm going to show you my overhead. Whoop, I took away my video. Whoops, let me get my glasses on. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let's see. Whoop, there we go. I need to get my glasses on first. <laughs> Look at these little cuties we're making. Who does not like mini little clay? Look at this little mini snowman. So we're gonna be making him. We'll see what how time permits, but we've got a cute little penguin. We've got a narwhal, which I think was so fun to make, and he's coming out of the water. And we have a tree with snow on it. So I can't wait to make those with you. Let me pull up so you can see the items that you need to have today um, <clears throat> in the Michaels app. There were two things listed. It was this modeling clay. It's air dry clay. But if you just have regular clay, that's totally fine. If you have uh, Play-Doh, anything like that, that will work. This will just, this is going to dry like super light. It's actually a really cool uh, material to use. So this is what it looks like. And then also on the list was just a mat. Um, I just like using these mats. It keeps things from... It keeps from ruining surfaces. Let me pull up just a little bit more and sometimes it gets blurry on me, but there we go. And then one thing that did not make the list for some reason are these tools. Now, if you do not have these tools, do not worry. If you have taken a class from me before, you probably do have these tools. So if you have your little Play-Doh tools, rate your clay tools. If not, you can check out with your parents' permission your uh, kitchen utensil drawer. You could use a, a butter knife or a spreader, um, something not sharp. You don't need anything sharp for this class. So uh, you could use a popsicle stick would work really well. A little tiny spatula would work well. A pizza cutter if you have one. Um, a little rolling pin. But if you don't have a rolling pin, you could use even a marker or you could use a water bottle or a cup, and this will do the same thing. So if you have these items, perfect, I'll go grab them. And if you don't, just go grab some things that you think you could use, all right? Anything really works, you, truly. If you, you know, I have a little lint roller here that I sometimes use to get some things off of my um, area, you could use this because it's not very sticky anymore. I've got a basket I could use for forming things. I have a little cup. You really truly can use anything. I can cut things with this, like a little cookie cutter, a pencil. You can use a lot of things, just be creative. Oh, my little foxy loxy fell down. All right, so I would love to see your final product. So would you please tag me, have your adult tag me on Instagram at La Cozy Casita. I love, love, love when I get to see that. And tag Michaels too at Learn With Michaels. We want to see your finished project and you can use the hashtag Michaels Kids Club. So while you are gathering your supplies, you can go ahead. Let's see. Why don't you let us know what? you would like to start with. I'm going to first start with this little guy, and then you can give me your vote for which ones you want to do next. Okay. Just put them in order. Do you want to do snowman, penguin, tree, the narwhal, 
do you want to do, we're going to do snowman first, just because that's the easiest, quickest one while everybody else is getting their supplies. Do you want to do narwhal, tree, penguin? You'd say the combination and you don't have to write it all out. Just write S for snowman, P for penguin, T for tree, N for narwhal. Okay. So let Chanel know. She'll tell me those, which ones you want to go for first, go ahead. We always love shouting you out. So if you want us to share your name, say, hey, let us know where you're from. Let us know if you had a snow day. We just love um, shout outs. We love talking to you through that. Okay. So we, like I said, we're going to start with the snowman. So I'm going to get, this pack doesn't have white. Isn't that wild? Huh. So I, we can do any color truly. <clears throat> but let me just check while you're gathering your supplies. I have another bag here. I could have used my white bag already. <clears throat> oh, yes. I already used that bag and didn't realize it. So here's white. I'm going to grab my white. And if you, like me, opened up your supplies and realized you didn't have a color, you can make yours with any color you like. You can just be creative or you can paint it later if you wanted to. That would totally be fine. So I'm going to grab my white and I'm going to start stretching. It, okay. And any time um, that you want to share, Chanel, you are more than welcome. You're never bothering me. It just adds some flavor to our class, in my opinion. Um, so, so, so far, I believe Snowman is winning, um, but Penguin and Tree are not too far behind. And there was a couple people who just put all four in anyway. So, hey, cool. I think they're hoping to see all of them anyway. All right. Well, hopefully we will get through all of them. Let me move him down. Okay. So you're going to need some scissors or just... Cut open your package and I'm just gonna pull out, I only just cut off the top here, okay? I'm not gonna rip open the whole thing. And if you did already, that's okay. You can always put them in a bag, but look, I'm not using that much white. I'm gonna use white here. I'm gonna use white on the tree, on the penguin belly, a little bit on the narwhal. So probably about half of this. And then the other half, I'm just gonna keep in the bag and kind of tape closed. Um, because I don't want it to dry out and I want to use it later. So if I need more, I can always get more. So let me just tape that closed so I can use it for another project. You don't have to tape yours right away if you don't want to. I just wanted to show you. Okay, so here we go. And again, you can make it as big or small as you want. We're starting out with snowman. And I just love mini, mini things. So the smaller it is, the cuter it is, right? So that's what we're doing. Do you see how I'm stretching this out? I'm kind of kneading it a little bit. It will feel wet if you're using the air dry clay. It's going to feel a little wet when you first take it out of the package. And so I'm just kneading it. And the way I'm kneading it is I'm just pulling, stretching, folding. Pull, stretch, fold. And I'm just doing that a couple times just to warm up the clay. All right, so let's look at this little guy. If you look and inspect him, you'll see I just have two balls and then I've got two for the eyes and three teeny tinies for the button. And then see his little, see his little cute little nose? It's just a little like a little triangle. <laughs> I love this little guy. So look at how easy he is. You are gonna be done with this guy in a jiffy. So you're going to get one bit, pull one part. Oop, it's, let's see, sometimes if I say, follow me, it'll come back into focus. There we go. Okay, so I have the clay in the palm of my hand and I'm just making little circles here. One goes, pretty much this hand is staying still. If you've never made a circle, if you're a beginner, just keep the clay in the palm of your hand and with the top hand, just kind of make gentle circles. That's how you'll make a circle. So there's our little bottom one. Isn't that cute? 
All right, we already have the bottom part. Now I need to grab a smaller piece. Whoa, look at that, it looks like taffy. I'm gonna grab a smaller piece for his head. And I don't want it to be exactly the same, so I'm gonna take a little bit away. I don't want it to be the exact same size. There we go, let's see what that looks like. Put it in the palm of your hands. See how that kind of looks like a football? I gotta, I gotta change it just a little bit. It means I gotta keep working. There we go. And then I'm going to put it right on top, gently. Now, if you push too hard, you can just kind of form it a little more into a round shape. If you lost it, if he's looking more like he's got a square head, you can change it a little. I'm gonna lay him down so you can see him. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see a little better as well. All right, it's time to add our eyes. So I need black. So I'm gonna get my black bag here. I like to cut off the top with scissors. You don't have to do that. I like it just because like I said, I like to take the top down. So all I need black for are his buttons and his eyes. So I don't need much, but I am gonna need some for Mr. Penguin. So I'm gonna grab about that much for now. I'm gonna grab a little bit more and warm it up for Penguin. Isn't it weird how it feels kind of slimy coming out of the package? <laughs> okay, warm this guy up just by pulling and stretching. And you'll notice that some of these are more dry than the others. Some have a little different texture. I notice when I use pink, it's a little more wet. This one seems a little more dry. So they're all kind of different. So where are you guys calling, where are you joining in from? And did you have a snow day today? I would like to know. We have to call those inclement weather days because <laughs> since I live in North Carolina, we don't always get snow, but we'll get freezing rain or sleet or ice. Or today we had tornadoes. So inclement weather. Okay, let's go ahead and roll two teeny tiny eyeballs. So I just pulled two pieces, kind of similar, about the same. And look what I do to roll these. I just roll them between my fingers. That's how tiny they are. And I might even have to go tinier than this. Let's line it up. Oh, he's going to have really big eyes, but I don't mind that because I think that's kind of cute. You could also go like this. Use your finger in the palm of your hand. If you're using this air dry clay, it's crazy how light it is. There's one eye. So remember you can use your one finger in the palm of your hand or you can use it between your fingers, whichever is easiest for you. You could even like this on your table if that works. Okay, if you're just joining us, welcome. My name is Elizabeth and we are making a winter scene. We're starting out with our snowman, which looks like he's got binoculars. So I think I'm going to have to make it, or he looks like he's using a, a sleep mask. <laughs> I think I want his eyes a little smaller, <laughs> but it is kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> Or you could say he's got sunglasses and he's dreaming of the sun. I'm going to go smaller, guys. So we are going to be making some of these fun little guys. We've got Penguin up next. I said that you could definitely vote if which order you wanted to do. So if you wanted, if you wanted to vote to do the Penguin next, we could do Penguin. Or if you want Tree or Narwhal. He's hard to see because he's sitting up. He's kind of popping out of the water, but this is what he looks like. He reminds me of the narwhal on the elf movie that I just love so much. I think um, Penguin and Tree were tied. 
Ooh, penguin and tree are tied. Okay. But we'll just have to do penguin next. So far. There we go. Those look, let's see if we can get him to look like he's got less uh, binoculars or sunglasses on and more eyeballs. Let's see. Oh, that's better. That's better. It's still pretty big though, but I guess that's the same. He's so cute. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just gently push down. <laughs> there is just something about mini, mini, mini things that just tickle me. I just love them. They're so cute. Okay, so now we're going to work on his cute little buttons. So let me let me try doing this. Let me see what this would work. Let me make like a little snake. And then if you have tools, you could do this. It's just because it's so tiny. There's one little button. Whoopsie, sorry about that. I hit my camera. And... You know, the buttons don't have to all be perfectly the same if you don't want them to be. Look at how tiny that button is. It looks like a little peppercorn. <laughs> okay, here's another one. How are we doing on the size? Um, while you're forming those, I have a I have some some comments to read off to you. Yay. I love these. Um, so we have Joe from Minnesota. Ooh. Amanda is in Virginia and she said no snow yet. Oh, we have Eliza from Lindsay, California. I bet they don't have um, we have Jack. Um I did not have we did not have high winds, but the snow was after school. I'm from Illinois. You are probably from a different part of Illinois than I am because it has been snowing all day where I am. Oh wow. Jack. <laughs> um, we have Elma from New Jersey. Um, Sarah from Florida. And she's actually under tornado warning right now. I Ooh. hope you are in your basement or a safe place. Yes. This will be on YouTube tomorrow. So if you miss it, don't <laughs> worry. Um, we have Zeta from Michigan. It snowed a little bit, then stopped. Um, Zulema, we have Zulema. I do school from home and I am from Clovis. I'm not really sure where Clovis is. Hmm. Tell us where Clovis is, Zulema. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, my buttons are, might be a little too big. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> He's so cute. So I'm going to grab the little end of this tool and push the buttons down a little bit. You can grab a pencil eraser. You could grab a marker, the, a marker cap, tweezers, anything that you have around, a skewer, a chopstick, just to get the ends of those pushed in a little. I'm going to do the same for the eyes. And there we go. And now it's time to work on his, we starting to get a little bit of an ET head here. Let me fix them a little. Okay, so now the joy of this is that you can kind of shape it, reshape. So now I need to add his little carrot nose. How are yours coming along? Are they looking so cute? And of course, if you want to add arms to him, you could. You could add a little scarf if you wanted. You can just add any type of detail. Now, I'm going to grab the tiniest bit. Well, I forgot I need to knead mine. So I'm just going to get a little bit. Just going to knead a little bit of orange. And we're going to make a carrot nose. So this doesn't take much time at all to knead. I don't think I've been hearing how old everyone is either. Okay, let's see. I may not have, I may have forgotten to ask, but if you've taken one of my classes before, I always like to know how old our friends are. Oh, look at that. That was really fast to make a carrot. So let me do that again, okay? I made a circle in the palm of my hands. Then I put it on the table 
And then I'm just going to kind of act like I'm going to make a bit of a snake, but I just push down a little harder on one side. Do you see how that kind of made like a little triangle? More like a little carrot, you see that? I'll try again, make a circle, like a little ball, just like that. And then you're gonna put it on your mat. And then what I'm doing is I'm pushing down on, like I'm kind of turning my finger like this, and then I'll push up. It's just one little motion. So it's like I'm rolling it, rolling, and just kind of pushing on one side, one end. If that does not work for you, just kind of shape it between your fingers. Here we go. Little carrot nose. Okay, so add that. You're about ready to become a new person, Mr. Snowman. There he is. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. I love him. Okay, there's Mr. Snowman. <laughs> Wasn't that cute and easy? Okay, so now let me tell you something though. You do want to set him down. Set him down and push just the tiniest bit so that he will then have a flat surface so that when he dries, you'll be able to sit him up like that. You see that? So give him, just push down the tiniest bit and then just set him aside so he can dry. All right, now you have a buddy, Snowman. This is gonna be the twins class. I'm making a twin for every of every one of these. All right, you guys ready for Penguin? Okay, this is the same kind of idea. Now, if you look carefully, so when I first saw this, I was like, hmm, how am I going to make a penguin? But if you study things, crafts and art, you'll see that everything is really just a shape. So I've got a circle head. I've got an oval body. I have a circle tummy. Ball. Each of these has a ball and a smaller ball for an eye. We've got a triangle carrot nose again. And then the wings are just a little different. It's like an oval and it's smashed down a little bit. It's kind of like the same way I did the nose. And then look what the feet are. They're just two little circles to make the feet. So if you inspect things, when even when you're just looking around at things, you can find shapes within objects. And that's how you can break down something to really form and sculpt it, okay? So we're gonna start with a circle ball for the head and an oval for the bottom part. All right, so let's get our, I'm going to, <clears throat> I need a little orange and then you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal this off because I don't want it to dry up. Uh, while you're forming the head, I'm gonna read off a couple more comments for you, but feel free to, interrupt me for instructions at any time okay i love you um we have victoria and james from new york no snow today but lots of rain um and they are i know they commented again with their ages hold on one second victoria is six and james is five. Oh, i'm glad you're here friends um we have jenny from california Jenny, I bet you have beautiful sunny weather there. <laughs> um, Nikki from New Jersey, raining all day. And Nikki is seven in second grade. Oh, thanks for being here. We have Runali from Los Angeles. Hey, Runali. Runali is eight and a half. Ooh. So July, July, August birthday, maybe? Yeah. Um, we have Martina from Minnesota. She says there's snow there. Ooh. Oh, hey, guys, one second. Just remember to reserve two little pieces for the wings. So I've got my black here, and I'm going to form a circle for the head, an oval for the body, and remember to save some for the wings and the eyes. Okay? All right, go ahead, Chanel. Um, oh, Jenny is actually Amelia and she is five. Oh, hey, Amelia. I had Amelia, um, Amelia have, last year. <laughs> we have Orit, um, who is eight. 
And he says, I have some snow. It's it snowed a little. Yeah, I wonder where he's been. Yeah, they didn't say where they were, they were from, but that's okay. I feel like everybody just um, wants pretty snow and then go away. Give us a snow day. Let the snow <laughs> come and then go away snow. <laughs> um, we have Elle, who is nine, and she is in Minnesota. And she says she they barely got any snow. Really? Wow. We have Santi and Mateo from New Jersey and Ivana from New Jersey as well. Wow, New Jersey is representing tonight. Yeah. Um, we have Tammy who says she's near near O'Hare. And if, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. <coughs> if you don't know, O'Hare is in Illinois. Yes. And she said um, snowing and freezing rain all day. The plows just went by. Yep, it's been snowing near me as well. Oh, man. Oh, yes. I was born in Illinois. I know O'Hare. I also used to teach in Milwaukee. And so we would get a lot of snow. And yes, the snow plows would go by. And there would be about 12 feet of snow next to your car. And guess who still had to go to school? <laughs> we just had to figure it out, didn't we? <laughs> right. Um, and then we have... Joe here, who is 33, and he says he goes to Michael's all the time. Welcome, Joe. That's awesome. I love having multi-age people, kids of all ages. Mm -hmm. um, Jack commented again, saying that she is 10, and her full name is Jacqueline. Oh, I love that. I love names like that. Cool. Me too. Um, Zeta is six, and this is the first time that they've joined your class. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. We have Eliza nine and Jolene seven. Welcome. Um, Cooper seven and uh, their mom, Sarah, is 30. Welcome. Um, Zulema says she's 10 and Clovis is in California. It's been raining here and there. Oh. Let me tell you one second how to make these wings <clears throat> and then we'll move on to eyes and we can have some more shout outs. So to do the wings, you're going to, so the penguin was basically just like the snowman, right? Except I just went a little bit longer on his body right here, but it's a lot like the snowman. For the wings, you're going to make a ball and then just kind of round it out a little bit just like that. And then what you're gonna do is push down. You just push down a little bit and that will make a wing. And then you can kind of pinch the end one side just to make it more like kind of like a triangle. So let's try that again. You're gonna make your circle and then roll it just a little bit. See, I'm just using my finger. I don't even need to use my whole hand. And then I'm going to gently push just a little because you can see it's still pretty thick. See that? So just push a little and then use your two fingers on one side to pinch an end. And they don't have to be perfect. And so what I'm going to do is put one here. <laughs> you can have your little penguin waving too if you wanted to. That'd be cute, wouldn't it? Oh, there's so, look, he's just starting to come alive. So cute. There we go. Okay, so we're going to work on two, two things quickly. You already know how to do these, but I'm just going to tell you real quick, you're going to get white for the eyes and a little black for the eyes. So just like the snowman, except this time you're doing white first, and then you're going to do two tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny little black pieces for the eyes and then you're going to do a ball for the tummy and push down on it and we'll put it on there so go ahead and start with your eyes and then I'll show you how to do the tummy in a little bit okay but that's where we're going because I love hearing these shout outs they make me so happy to know that you guys are having a good time I love to know where you're tuning in from so I love that Chanel reads these for us all right Chanel you take it away girl okay okay <laughs> um, we have Harvin from Charlotte, three years old. 
hey, Harvey, you are right where I am. So you've been going through the same thing with me, haven't you? I hope you're mm -hmm. staying safe. Um, we have John, six years old, from San Antonio, Texas. Ooh, um, Savannah, 13, from Connecticut. I've never been to Connecticut. I need to get to Connecticut. We have Renika, five. Um, Grace, eight. Alexander, four, from Manhattan Beach. Ooh. Orit is from Canada. Um, we have Whitney from Cal Calgary here as well. Um, Zach is nine, and Veronica is almost six near Chicago. Wow. We have a young class today. Yeah. Well, it's kind of also very spread out as well. Um, Jalen, age eight, from Texas. They have no snow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, Whitney from Calgary is nine. And Martina from earlier is 11. I don't know what's going on with my eyes today, but they're make, they make me laugh. <laughs> Look at how big his eyes are. <laughs> but they kind of make me laugh, so I'm going to keep them. I like how each of the penguins take on, or whatever, the penguins or the snowmen, they take on their own personality. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have Julia, 18, from Canada. Oh, hey, Julia. Welcome. Harmony and Nola from Michigan. Lots of Michigan and Minnesota people. Yeah. Lindsay from Buffalo, New York. Um, Jacqueline says, we are, ho we are hoping for a snow day, but the snow dissolves as it hits the ground. Oh. Um, I am in Aurora, Illinois, and we have like four or five inches out there. Whoa. <laughs> it is sticking. <laughs> hey, guys, look real quick for me. I made a circle, and I'm making the penguin's tummy, but I'm going to show you a tiny, it's not a mistake, it's just something that I want to change. So I made a ball, and I'm pushing it down with my thumb. When I put this ball on his tummy, I realize it's just a little too big. So what I'm going to do is take some of this white away and then I'm going to make another ball and do it again and see if I can't get the right size tummy. Okay. Um, we have Isabel and Ben from Indiana. Our snow has melted because we've had rain today. It's windy and it's supposed to get real windy tonight. Ooh. Let's see. Um, we have Ethan from Minnesota, and then we have Lisa from New Mexico, and she is 59 years old. Welcome, Lisa. That makes my heart happy. And that is all of the comments that we have right now. Thanks, guys. Thanks for reading those, Chanel. I love hearing from you guys. That makes me so happy. All right, I think I'm, so I've got the right size. And I think instead of making it a perfect circle, I'm going to make it into just the tiniest, the tiniest bit of an oval. So by making an oval, it's the same thing we did for the wings. Just going to kind of like a rolling pin, just roll it like that and then push down. There we go. I just want to give him more of a, an oval tummers. And then you just push that down. So cute. He needs his little beak though. <laughs> okay, so now same kind of thing like we did with our snowman. We're gonna roll. You can roll it in your hand. Then, oh, that might be too big. Sometimes it's hard to judge how big you're making. Oops, whoopsies what I did here. Sometimes it's hard to judge what you're making until you actually put it on his little face. Like the eyes, for instance, but it looks like he's looking through binoculars. It's so funny. All right. So I'm rolling on one side more than the other to kind of give it more of a beak look. 
So if I'm pushing on this end, it's gonna keep this end thicker. So I'm just barely pushing. And now it's a little too long, so I'm going to cut off the end. That looks like a beak to me. So I'm gonna stick it on. Hee <laughs> look at how cute. There he is. Look, it just made him come alive. <laughs> so cute. Okay, now we need to make his little feet. I love him. Okay, what are you gonna name your, if you've already given yours a name, let's hear it. Tell us, did you name your penguin or did you name your snowman already? Let us know. Okay, I'm gonna make two circles for the feet. I'm gonna give them just a little bit of an oval look to them, just a tiny bit. Okay, so round. I like to do it in the palm of my hand more. Okay, round, another circle. Make sure these are kind of the same just so that they are a little more even. Okay, there we go. And then just kind of roll it up. Use your finger as a rolling pin and then push it down and smash it down. Smash it and smash it. Make sure one isn't thicker than the other. All right, so now these are his little feet, his little flippers. So cute. You guys, I'm gonna do one for summertime. We're gonna have a whole summer, either a clay scene or a like ice cream and popsicles, something like that. Oh gosh, let me fix your little eyeball, fella. Look at how cute he is. And then if you want, you can just push those little eyes in and you, oops, sorry about your nose there, or your beak. And now you can set him down and just push him down a little bit so that he won't roll away when he dries. You're creating a, a flat surface for him by just, just barely. And then I'm gonna flatten out his feet a little. Whoop, come back. He's so cute. Okay, are you naming your little guys? What are you naming them? All right, we've got Snowman. And we've got, oh, look at how much bigger I made this penguin than this guy. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Okay, so now we're going to make the tree. How are we doing on time? We're doing pretty good. I think we're going to get all four in, guys. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, so let's do tree now. So we need green and we need brown. This is exciting. Okay, so here's the brown and white. Have white out already. If you don't, go ahead and grab a little. Get a brown. And need, oh, about a third of the package. So a third would be if you cut it into three pieces. You cut your clay into three pieces. How big would each piece be? All right, I'm going to tape that guy. And, ooh, ooh. Oh, I did just open this. I thought I just left this open. Okay, all I need is a tiny bit of brown for the trunk of the tree. Let me push this down. And I think that's all the brown I need for this class. And then tape this guy up. All right, so I'm gonna start kneading green and I'll start kneading the brown. Um, all right, while you're needing that, I can read off some names for you. Perfect. Um, Elle says, um, Pango. I'm assuming that's for the penguin. Cute. <laughs> um, Jacqueline said, Chubs for the penguin and Ice what? for the snowman. What was the name for the snowman? Ice. Ah, Chubs and Ice. I love it. So cute. <laughs> um 
Save says bellow. I'm assuming that's for the penguin as well. Cute. Um, Jamie the snowman from from Victoria and James. Oh. Martina says Fred for the penguin, Steve for the snowman. <laughs> People names are so funny for pets. Yeah, people. I agree. <laughs> Especially um, at the moment. Also. <laughs> Runali says I named my snowman Tintin. Oh, that's, cute. that's so cute. Um, Cooper named his snowman Snowbert and oh. his penguin Pingy. Oh, it's so cute. Those are cute. I'm going to need my brown. I needed my green already. So now I'm going to go. I'm going to need my brown and then I'm going to need my white. Um, Zulema says my snowman's name is Icicle and the penguin's name is Luz. Oh, cute. Um, Elle says her snowman is Chicken Nugget. <laughs> it's cute. So cute. <laughs> um, Nikki's snowman is Snow Snowy and Buddy for the penguin. Oh, that's cute. Um, Victoria and James say Victoria the penguin. Yeah, cute. Grace, um, Sadie is the name for my penguin, and Snowman is Olaf. Oh, adorable. Bryce named his snowman Chubby. <laughs> Those are so funny. Johnny named his penguin Penguin Nilo, and <laughs> Ice uh, Snowman Icy Lou. Oh, <laughs> so cute. You guys are really creative. They really are. They're adorable. <laughs> um, Alice named her snowman Pumpkin. Mm, cute. Jenny said Penguin is Flipper and Snowman is Silly. Oh. <laughs> uh, Runika said hers are Pengi and Lily. <laughs> I love those. Pengy and Lily. So cute. Um, we have for um, Snowman 1, Cutie Jr. and Penguin 1 is Tinsel. Snowman 2 is Coolest and Penguin 2 is Chubby Penguin the Cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Chubby Penguin the Cute. I love it. <laughs> um, we have Elena or Ellie my snowman is Rosie Oh, for Victoria and James snowman is cutie <laughs> and Save says their snowman's name is Dot oh cute Okay, here we go with our, hopefully yours are needed now to where you can form them a little better. So what I'm going to do is form a ball. Are you noticing that most, all of these just start with a ball? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hand as a rolling pin, or I can actually use a rolling pin as a rolling pin, either one. But I'm going to kind of roll this into like a snake. I think sometimes your hands are your best tools. Okay, so it's not even really a snake. You're stopping about here. But you know how when you start to form a snake, you start like this. So that's what I should say. Start like you're making a snake. Then what we're going to do is just kind of put your hand on half of it and push down a little more. Just roll it like a snake on the top part. And so what that's going to do is make it into more of a triangle shape. And you can see mine barely looks like it's made into a triangle, just barely. If you want yours more pointy, you can. And so now I'm just going to form it with my fingers. Just push down more towards the top. And now I'm going to make my trunk. So I'm going to roll this. Those are great names, guys. I love those. 
Okay, and so I'm just making these about the same size here. And so push it down just like that. Isn't that easy enough? Now, if you wanted, you could form this more. You could kind of push it down if you want. There's no right or wrong way. Just be more, be a little creative if you want. See, I can push in the ends here. See that? Okay, so now I'm gonna make the snow. This is a little lopsided, so let me move them over. There we go. Now, just for the snow, all I'm going to do is take just some little pieces, just make little snowballs. I'll probably do, Chanel, were you in the class last time where they called them happy little trees? <laughs> we had a Bob Ross moment. It was cute. One of the kids said it's a happy oh. little tree. <laughs> it so it kind of sounds familiar, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> but but that's I funny. Well, while you're making your snowballs, I have a couple more comments for you. Cool. Um, this one's a straggler from earlier. We have Nola10 and Andy5 from Indiana. Welcome. And then Jalen made their snowman is Cooper and their penguin is Limberjack. <laughs> so cute. Um, and then Isabel, her snowman is Cutie Pie. Her penguin is Floppy. Oh. And then, <laughs> then his snowman is Frosty. And his penguin is Penny. Cute. Uh, these are so cute. See how I'm making some of them smaller, some of them bigger. This one's too big. Okay. So now, once you have your little snowballs made, and you don't have to use all of them, all you're going to do is put them on your tree and just gently push. Now, remember, if you push too hard on the top or the bottom, you will see that it will change the shape. So just barely touch, barely apply pressure. And then I'm just going to turn them. So instead of putting them in a straight line, I'm just going to kind of put them in different, different parts. Put one down here. And then one up here. Aren't these cute? I've taken a new liking to playing with clay. It's really fun. There. So now the tree has it on all their sides. And I'm just going to push, push, push all around. There we go. And then just make sure it sits up. So what I, I made a mistake on this one. And he doesn't stand up anymore. So I need to make sure that I set him down and just kind of leave him there. That way he won't tip over. Okay, are you ready? Ooh, good, we've got 10 minutes. So we're gonna work on the narwhal, all right? So we're gonna get purple or this bluish color and the purple. And we have our white, that's what I used for the icy snowish water and black we already have, okay? So those are our last ones. So isn't this easier than it looks, you guys? Hopefully you are having a good time and enjoying yourselves. I know I am. These are my favorite classes when I do these sculpting classes. I think they're so fun. Oh, I only need the tiniest bit of purple, don't I? Just the tiniest bit. Because just like the uh, snowballs on the tree, we're gonna make tiny little spots. So I just needed the tiniest little bit. And then let me get the blue. And I need a little more blue, probably about half of this, I would say. We've got lots of fun. I got lots of fun Valentine classes coming up. In fact, the next class that I am teaching is, are these little like Valentine fuzzy monsters. Aren't they cute? You can clip them on your backpack. <laughs> Here's another one. 
<laughs> so this is what I'm making next week. And you can sign up on the Michaels page. <laughs> I thought those were fun. So hopefully some of you can join me next week. My kids are hoping that they have another day off of school tomorrow. But I said, I don't think that's going to happen. The rain's supposed to stop. And so we should probably be back in school. All right, so I've got this needed. I'm gonna go ahead and knead the purple for a little bit. We're almost there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take just the tiniest bit of blue out because I'm going to add that to my white and I'm gonna take a little bit of white for his cone or the horn. So that's for that. This blue is going to be for the ice, snow ice. And then this is going to be the narwhal's body. So make a circle. See, we start out the same almost every time, don't we? Then we roll it. Oop, I got a little bit of that monster fuzz on here. That's why I had my uh, lint roller out. Get that fuzz off. There we go. Monster fuzz. Okay, so then... You just kind of start rolling it like you're making a snake. Just like that. Oops, I forgot to grab some arms. That's okay, I still have my clay over here. Okay, now, remember how we would make it just like we did on the tree, so it was a little more narrow on the top? You're just gonna push down on one side to make them a little more narrow, okay? And then use your fingers. See how it's kind of like tapered? That's the word that we use. It's tapered a little more. Monster fuzz is everywhere now. It's probably not the best idea. Okay, so there he is. And then I'm just gonna roll it a little to smooth them out. Now I need two wings and this is just like what we did for the penguin remember so circle circle roll it roll push this one's a little smaller but there we go and then pinch the end oops i'm out of frame sorry about that pinch the end so it looks like a little teardrop doesn't it a little raindrop all right so I'm going to put that on one side find your best side the one that's the smoothest and that will be the side that you use there he is cute he looks like um grimace from McDonald's right now <laughs> you guys probably are too young for that but Chanel and I know Okay, now we're going to use the little, make his little, well, let's save the horn for a little later. All right, let's do the eyes. Oh, remember I've been overshooting the eyes. I keep making them bigger than they really are. Okay, so one tiny little ball. Grab another tiny, tiny. There we go. So they match, stick them on, push. See, we're rocking and rolling now, right? You guys know how to do this. Look at how cute. I can't handle it. He's so cute as soon as you put those eyes there. Okay, so let me show you what I did for the mouth. If you have a marker lid around, this is kind of what I did. So what I did is made a circle, okay? Push down with your finger, just like that. Then what I used is just the end of a, of a marker. This is just a regular marker that you probably have in your pencil box. And then just cut out, let me grab a different color because black on black, you can't really see what I'm doing. Okay, let me see, I've got brown. I really need a yellow. Oh, here's green, okay, here's a green. So 
all I'm going to do is I'm trying to make his smile. So I'm just using it as a cookie cutter and I'm just pushing down. And now I've got a little smile for him. Just like that. Okay. See, and there's the rest of it in there. So just make the circle, push it down. And there we have it. All right. So now I'm going to make the little spots on his body and I'm just going to make little circles, little tinies, just like we did with the snowballs. But I'm going even smaller this time. So fun. Now I wanna know, did you guys have you, ha tell me if you've made all four or if you've made two or if you've made three, just put that number in the comments. Let me see how many you've made. You made all four. Did you keep up? I know we had a younger crowd today, so hopefully you were able to keep up with us. And so now, oh, go ahead, Chanel. I was going to say there weren't a lot of questions, so I think a lot of people kept up, but Elle made four, Martina made four, Runali one, Zulema's working on the nar narwhal, <laughs> Victoria and James made four with their mama. And one of our friends who is anonymous uh, made four and they named their narwhal, narwhal Nary. Oh. We have more coming in, so you can continue with your instructions and I'll finish up. Okay. So after you make your little uh, balls, your purple ones, you're just going to push, 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 and push. And that's going to make the spots. So then you go. They're so fragile. Just push it on his on his little body there. Aren't they so cute? There's just something about the purple. Just really adds some detail. <laughs> Look at his backside. He's so cute. <laughs> okay, now let's add another one. Now he's a chubby guy. Oh, you're so cute, Mr. Narwhal. Put one here. I love him. I think I'm going to move your spot Put it right here. Okay. Are you ready for the, the, uh, let's first, we're going to do the horn last. Okay. Because we want to push him into his water, his ice water. So here's the white. I'm just going to add a little bit of blue and see where that gets me. Okay. And just a tiny, tiny bit of purple, teeny, teeny, tiny. And that's going to give us an ice look. Okay. So we'll check it out. I'm just going to do this. And you can see it kind of starts to marble together. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to make a circle and push down. I'm going to use my tool on this part. Turn it and just kind of use my rolling pin. You don't have a rolling pin. You could just use the palm of your hand. This is his little ice block that he's, or his little glacier, whatever you want it to be. And if it sticks, just peel it right back off. No biggie. Isn't that cute, you guys? The way the texture looks on that. I love it. He comes out and says, hi, buddy. Hope you find your dad. All right, stick him down. Oh, let me get him over here in the screen, in the shot. All right, so you push him down. Boop. See why we didn't put the horn on yet? Okay, now here's the horn. Let me push him up a little bit more. I think I pushed him down too much. There we go. Now with the horn, you just roll out a snake. Push down further on one side than you do the other, just like that. And I'm going to cut off this end here. And just push them on. Cute. And there he is. Isn't he adorable? Okay, I don't want to pull him up, but hopefully you can see from there because I don't want to mess up my little glacier there. Okay. 
cute. So we made, oop, and it's right on the dot. Okay, so we made our twinnies. We made our little snowmen. We made our little penguins. We made our trees. And we made our narwhals. <laughs> so if you come back next week, we're making these guys, the fuzzy monsters. And they're so cute. So you need a cereal box or a pasta box. We're going to be making these. Aren't they fun? Okay, let me switch my camera. All right. Did you guys have fun? I did. I love these. Look at how tiny. So cute. I wish I could see yours. Please don't forget, find me. Have your adult find me on Instagram at La Cozy Casita. Find Michaels at Learn With Michaels. And you can hashtag us, Michaels Kids Club. And we want to see your finished product. I know yours turned out so great. I just know it. I had the best time with you. This was a cool day for us on our snow day. Well, inclement weather day. So you guys have fun. If you get snow, go play in the snow and do some more of these fun little sculptures. I can't wait to see. We will hopefully see you next week. And if that's all, then I guess we can leave unless there were any comments or anything, Chanel. Um, there are quite a few comments. Um, most of them are saying that they completed four of the, um, all four of them today. Awesome. And, uh, we have a couple people saying that they love the class. They had so much fun and they're coming back next week. Yay. I'll see you there. <laughs> fun, fun. You want to come in the picture? I'll, I'll let, I'll let you see my little daughter, <laughs> Lena, before we say bye. Lena, Lena thought these were cute too. All right. We'll see you next week. Bye guys.